Yo, it's Dr. Cool. From the heart of Africa, a new star of innovation has emerged. His invention is shaking the entire world economy, and I tell you what, this is just the beginning. Maxwell Chicken Butso captivating the world with claims that seem ripped from the pages of science fiction and became reality in 2025. Maxwell Chicken Butso, a self-taught engineer from Zimbabwe, has thrust himself onto the global stage with an invention that challenges our understanding of the universe. His creation, the microsonic energy device, promises limitless clean energy, defying the laws of physics and brother thermodynamics as we know them. Chikumbutso's journey began with a simple yet profound question. What if we could tap into an invisible ocean of energy that surrounds us? Inspired by this vision, he toiled tirelessly in his workshop, driven by an unwavering belief in the unseen forces that govern our world. Years of relentless experimentation and countless failed attempts only strengthened his resolve to push further outside the box of physics laws and principles, pushing him closer to a breakthrough that redefine our 2025 relationship with energy. The world first caught wind of Chikumbutso's invention through grainy videos circulating on the internet. Images of electric cars zipping around a track, seemingly powered by nothing but the air around them. As if that wasn't enough, he proved the system works, and this sparked both awe and disbelief. Yes, success attracts hate too, however, could this be the answer to humanity's insatiable appetite for energy, upend to energy crisis, and it plays big oil cooperation and politicians' weapon of choice? A solution to the looming climate crisis? Maxwell Chikumbutso is one of the most enigmatic inventors of our time, a man who has challenged the very foundations of physics and engineering. His groundbreaking self-powered technology has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and rattled the foundations of some of the world's most powerful corporations, about to pee and poop in their pants, as their trillion of dollars investment is about to sink to meet rock bottom. At the heart of Chikumbutso's work is the microsonic energy device, a revolutionary power source that seemingly defies the traditional laws of thermodynamics. According to Maxwell, his invention harnesses energy from an unknown or undisclosed source, as he would say, his microsonic energy device harvests radio frequencies from our surroundings to fuel your car infinitely. Not only that, power your home as he demonstrated. Instead of charging the car, the car powers your home, allowing vehicles, generators and other electrical systems to run indefinitely without the need for external fuel or charging. Naturally, such an invention did not sit well with the Western scientific establishment. When Chikumbutso applied for a patent in the United States, he was met with skepticism and outright dismissal. U.S. Patent Office refused to grant him recognition, citing that his device was a perpetual motion machine, something deemed scientifically impossible according to conventional physics, thereby making Maxwell Chikumbutso groundbreaking invention vulnerable to steal by any organization with unauthorized access to his blueprint. The official rejection stated that his work lacked industrial application a move that many believe was a calculated attempt to suppress his innovation. However, as time passed and independent tests confirmed the effectiveness of his self-powered technology, whispers began to circulate within elite circles. If the US granted Maxwell Chikumbutso a patent, it would mean not only recognizing his work, but also admitting that the very principles of physics that Western science has upheld for centuries were flawed, or at the very least, incomplete. Such an admission would shatter the monopoly of oil and energy corporations, forcing a rewrite of the laws of thermodynamics and a new shift of science and technology lead from Western to Africa. This is part that made Maxwell Chikumbutso invention a new red pill that is so hard for Western world to swallow and too good to throw away. The implications of this were too vast, too disruptive. Granting Chikumbutso official recognition would not just empower him, it would shake the global economy to its core dismantling the billion-dollar industries built around fossil fuels, lithium batteries, and conventional energy systems. Thus, the alternative, eliminating the threat, became a sinister yet familiar option. History has shown that disruptive inventors who threaten the status quo often meet tragic ends. Nikola Tesla, Stanley Meyer, the greatest minds in electrical engineering, saw his revolutionary ideas suppressed and, some speculate, was systematically dismantled by the very industry that stood to lose from his inventions. Similarly, Maxwell Chikumbutso and his team of engineers faced an unimaginable ordeal poisoning. Most of his team succumbed to the attack, but by what can only be described as divine intervention, Maxwell himself survived. Realizing the extent of the forces working against him, Maxwell knew he had to safeguard his technology. This led to the birth of a game-changing security measure, the self-destruct tamper-proof technology. A system so advanced that even those who managed to get their hands on his devices could never reverse engineer or replicate them. It would completely unfair if you don't hear it from the inventor himself. 
do let's hear from the horse's mouth. Here's something fascinating about his story. Because he couldn't secure a patent for his technology, he had to come up with a unique way to protect his intellectual property. Maxwell claims that he built his microsonic device with a self-destructive safeguard to prevent anyone from tampering with it or reverse engineering it. At the end of the video, I will play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. But first, let me summarize it for you. According to him, the device is equipped with a small detonator that will cause it to explode if someone tries to open it up or mess with its internal components. He assures that the explosion is small and won't harm anyone, but it's enough to destroy the device completely. On top of that, he says they've added software safeguards as well. If someone tries to tamper with the wiring or the system, the software will trigger the device to self-destruct. This raises an interesting question. While this technology might protect his invention from being copied, what happens if the device needs repairs? Imagine taking your car in for routine maintenance and accidentally triggering the self-destruct mechanism. It's a risky trade-off, but Maxwell argues that this was the only way he could protect his invention after being denied a patent. Now, I'm going to play a clip of Maxwell explaining this self-destructive technology in his own words. Listen carefully and let me know what you think in the comments. We have done and we are trying to protect it. We have embedded it in the vehicle. Okay. Yes. And it has got a self-destructive technology. On the 150 wires on this car, if you try to tamper with five of them, we will classify. You destroy the Microsoft Kinetic device, both of the software and the hardware. That's how we are protecting the technology because we couldn't get a patent oh. on ways on how to protect the technology in the event that we lose it. For example, we go in a country, we will set up a power station, there is a hostile takeover, we are kids. How do we protect our technology? That's why we took the trade, the trade secret route. Our patent is kept, in, our, our design is kept, the recipe is kept in three countries. And uh, the people who are keeping it, they don't even know each other. The second thing, we try to protect the hardware side because if the engineer removes like a second board, you can trace, you can see that this is a rectifier, this is a, a microchip. So we put a small amount of a detonator to say, but that cannot harm anyone. But if you just try to tamper with it, you blow it. That's part of the second board. Also on the software, if someone can have the source code, you can try to do reverse engineering. So we work on a on an algorithm that if you temper with certain wires on the vehicle, you are going to destroy the microsonic device. Yeah. So you can't temper. You cannot temper with it. If you temper with it, then you lose your your investment. The brilliance of this protective mechanism lies in its ability to disable and destroy the core functionality of the microsonic energy device and it components if an unauthorized attempt is made to access its internal components. This ensures that no corporate entity, no government, and not even his Chinese manufacturing partners at Kaiyi can decipher the secret behind his technology. However, this is the very key ingredient that the scientific community wants to know it nitty gritty, which Maxwell Chikumbutso refused throwing up into the open air, citing intellectual property theft concerns, which is absolutely true. For those lucky enough to own a Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered car, superbike or generator, a word of caution. Any attempt to tamper with the microsonic energy device will result in its self-destruction. While this mechanism does not pose any harm to the individual attempting to access it, it guarantees that no one can steal or copy Maxwell's life's work. As a result, maintenance and repairs of these groundbreaking vehicles can only be performed by Chikumbutso's company. Any attempt to fix electrical issues or gain unauthorized access to the system will render the device useless. Buyers must be aware owning one of Maxwell's innovations comes with responsibility and respect for the technology itself. With all this in mind, the question remains, what will happen next? Will Maxwell Chikumbutso continue to defy the odds or will he be another name added to the long list of visionaries whose work was suppressed by powerful interests? One thing is for certain, his self-powered technology has already changed the world. Whether the world is ready for this change, however, remains to be seen. I world. With a confident smile and a twinkle in his eye, Chikumbutso demonstrated his device, claiming to harness an untapped source of energy he called microsonic energy. This mysterious force, he explained, permeates the very fabric of space-time, holding the key to unlocking a future of abundance and prosperity for all. 
His claims, as audacious as they seemed, ignited a firestorm of debate, dividing the scientific community and capturing the imagination of dreamers and skeptics alike. At the heart of Chikumbutso's invention lies a concept as perplexing as it is intriguing, microsonic energy. This elusive force, he claims, exists beyond the realm of our current scientific understanding, undetectable by conventional instruments and unconstrained by the known laws of physics. It is this invisible ocean of energy that his microsonic energy device purportedly harnesses, converting it into usable electricity. The exact nature of microsonic energy remains shrouded in mystery, even as Chikumbutso offers tantalizing hints about its properties. He describes it as a ubiquitous and inexhaustible energy field, vibrating at frequencies far beyond the range of human perception. This cosmic symphony, he suggests, holds the key to unlocking a new era of scientific exploration, with the potential to revolutionize not just energy production, but also transportation, communication, and even our understanding of the universe itself. Skeptics, however, remain unconvinced, pointing to the lack of empirical evidence and peer-reviewed research to support Chikumbutso's claims. They argue that his descriptions of microsonic energy lack the rigor and specificity expected of legitimate scientific discoveries. The absence of a clear mechanism by which his device supposedly interacts with this mysterious force only deepens their skepticism. Despite the lack of mainstream scientific acceptance, Chikumbutso remains steadfast in his convictions, undeterred by the doubts and criticisms of those who dismiss his work as pseudoscience. He points to the tangible results of his invention, the electric cars, generators and homes powered by his device, as irrefutable proof of its efficacy. The debate rages on, fueled by the tantalizing possibility that we may be on the cusp of a paradigm shift in our understanding of energy and the very nature of reality. The scientific community, with its foundation built upon empirical evidence, peer review and rigorous testing, has greeted Chikumbutso's claims with a mixture of skepticism and caution. The lack of a clear, testable hypothesis and the absence of published data in reputable scientific journals have raised red flags for many researchers. Central to the skepticism is the purported violation of fundamental laws of physics, particularly the conservation of energy. This bedrock principle states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. Chikumbutso's claim of a device that generates limitless energy seemingly contradicts this fundamental law, leading many scientists to question the validity of his work. Furthermore, the secrecy surrounding the inner workings of the microsonic energy device has fueled skepticism. Chikumbutso's reluctance to fully disclose the technology, citing concerns of intellectual property theft and potential misuse, has hindered independent verification and analysis by the scientific community. This lack of transparency has created a significant barrier to scientific acceptance. Without access to the technical specifications, detailed schematics and independent testing data, most scientists remain unwilling to entertain the possibility of a revolutionary breakthrough. Until Chikumbutso opens his technology to rigorous scientific scrutiny, the microsonic energy device will likely remain on the fringes of mainstream science. Chikumbutso's journey has not been without its share of intrigue and danger. He alleges that powerful forces, threatened by the disruptive potential of his invention, have actively sought to silence him and suppress his technology. These claims, while unproven, have fueled a narrative of conspiracy and intrigue around his work. The most chilling of these allegations involves a poisoning attempt on Chikumbutso and his team of engineers. While details remain scarce, it is claimed that most of his team succumbed to the attack, leaving Chikumbutso as the sole survivor. He attributes his survival to divine intervention, a belief that has further fueled the mystique surrounding him and his work. These alleged attempts on his life, coupled with the rejection of his patent application by the US Patent Office, have been interpreted by some as evidence of a concerted effort to suppress his groundbreaking technology. They point to a long history of innovative thinkers facing resistance, ridicule, and even outright persecution from those invested in maintaining the status quo. While it is crucial to approach such claims with a healthy dose of skepticism, the possibility of powerful entities seeking to protect their vested interests cannot be entirely dismissed. The history of scientific progress is rife with examples of groundbreaking discoveries facing resistance and suppression, often for fear of the societal and economic upheaval they might unleash. Whether Chikumbutso's claims of sabotage are true or not, they highlight the complex interplay of science, power, and the pursuit of knowledge in our modern world.